welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to continue looking at square roots and cube roots and in today's video i'm going to look at cube roots uh, in this video i'm going to describe what cube roots are i'm going to also show how you write the cube root of number then later on i'm going to demonstrate how you can find uh, cube roots of given numbers so watch this video up to the end let me start by defining what a cube root is so <clears throat> a cube root of a number is a number you multiply by itself and then multiply the result by the original number to get there to get that number okay so a cube root is the number you multiply by itself and then multiply the results by the original number to get that number so in other words we are saying a cube root is a cube root of a number is the number you multiply by itself three times to get that number okay so in this scenario i'm talking about when you have got a number then you you multiply a certain number to get that number then the number you have multiplied three times is a cube root. What I'm trying to say is this. Uh, for instance, I'm multiplying three by three by three in this instance to get 27. I'm multiplying three three times to get 27. Therefore, we can say three is the cube root of 27. So I've multiplied three by three, which has given me nine, which is the result. Then the result I multiply it by the, the, the result which is nine I multiply it by three the original number which gives me that number which is twenty seven. Okay, so that is a cube root. So a cube root is a number you multiply three times uh, by itself in order to get a cube. Okay, then therefore you can write three as a cube root of 27 like this so this is how you write a cube root of a number so in this uh, example i'm using three i'm using 27 and three so the cube root of three is um 27 uh you will write a small three there then a square root then 27 that is uh, three the cube root of 27 which is three that's how we write the cube root, like the way I've written in red there. Okay. Now let me show you how you how you find cube roots of. Okay. Let's find cube roots of the following numbers. So <clears throat> the instructions for the two questions is evaluate the following numbers: cube root of sixty-four and two cube root of two hundred sixteen. So the first question is cube root of 64 and the second question is cube root of 216 so let's start with the, the first question which is cube root of 64 so how do we find the cube root of 64 <coughs> so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rewrite the next question on the right side of the equal sign like the way i've written it in green then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to express 64 as a product of prime numbers or prime factors i'm going to express 64 as a product of prime factors so uh, the first question i'm going to ask myself is what number or what is the smallest prime factor that can go into 64 so the smallest prime factor that can go into 64 is Two, so I'm going to write two down there. Two can go into sixty-four, and two is a prime factor. So <clears throat> uh, two into sixty-four it will go thirty-two times. So I'm going to write two multiplied by thirty-two. So when you multiply two by thirty-two, we'll give you sixty-four. That means we haven't lost the value of sixty-four. Okay. Then I'm going to rewrite two again here. I have already found one <coughs> prime factor. So now let's uh, look at it too. What now? What uh, what is the smallest prime factor that can go into it too? What is the smallest prime factor of it too? 
the smallest prime factor of 32 is 2. So I'm going to say 2 multiplied by 2. So how many times can 2 go into 32? It will go 16 times. So I'm going to multiply by 16 times. So when you multiply 2 by 2 by 16, it will give you 64. Okay? But in this expression, 16 is not a prime factor. So we need to find another prime factor that can go into 16. Yeah, that can go into 16 okay so i'm going to write 2 multiplied by 2 because these two numbers 2 and 2 are prime factors so we have managed to find two prime factors that can help us to make it 64 so what smallest prime factor can go into 16 that is smallest prime factor is 2 so 2 can go into 16 so 2 is the prime factor of 16, so I'm going to multiply by 2. Then I'm going to ask myself, how many times can 2 go into 16? It will go 8 times, so I'm going to multiply by 8. So when you multiply, eight, when you multiply 2 by 2 by 2 by 8, you get 64 as an answer. Okay, then I'm going to rewrite these three tools I found already. Then I'm going to ask myself, to what is the smallest prime factor of 8? The smallest prime factor of 8 is 2. So I'm going to write times 2. How many times can 2 go into 8? It will go 4 times. So times 4. So when you multiply 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 by 4, you get 64. Okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the 4 prime factors I've found. As you know, 4 is not a prime number, so which means I need to convert 4 into prime uh, numbers. So, which is going to be, I'm going to write the 4s, the 2, the, the 4 twos are found. Then, I'm going to ask myself, what number can go into, what prime number can go into 4 without leaving a remainder? That is 2. 2 is a prime factor of Four. So I'm going to write 2. And how many times can 2 go into 4? It will go 2 times. Then I'm going to multiply also by 2. Now when you look at this expression I've made, the one which is at the bottom, uh, you will see that uh, it is made of prime numbers, which are 6 twos. So we have come up with an expression of prime numbers which can give us a product of 64. When you multiply these six twos, they'll give you the answer, which is 64. Uh, two by two will give you four. Four by two will give you eight. Eight by two will give you 16. 16 by two will give you 32. 32 by two will give you 64. Okay, once you have done this, then uh, we have expressed uh, <coughs> 64 as a product of prime numbers. The next thing you're going to do is we are going to put them in two, in three groups. Since we are finding cube roots, we are going to put them in three groups. So we are going to put the first twos in one group. Then the first two twos, they will be in one group. Then the middle two twos will be uh, in the second group. And the last two twos will be in a third group. So it will be like this. Okay, I've paired them in three groups and these groups are identical as well as they will give you the product which is the same. Okay, so when we start, we multiply 2 by 2 will give us 4, so I'm going to write 4 there. Then the group in the middle, 2 by 2 will give you 4, so say times 4. Then <coughs> the last one, 2 by 2 will give us 4, so it will be times 4. So as you can see, these are the products of uh, the three groups so as you can see the product is the same we have gotten four okay so what we're going to do is we're going to write we're going to write one four from these three fours and that is the cube root of 64 so we'll pick one of the fours among these three fours and write it down that is the cube root of 64 so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the cube root sign and write 4 along without the cube root sign so we're going to write 4 like this and this 4 is the cube root of 64 so we can say therefore 4 is the cube root of 64 
okay now we go to question two question two they want us to find the cube root of 216 so i'm going to write 216 like that then i'm going to ask myself what is the smallest prime factor of 216 or can 2 go into 216 we are saying yes so 2 will be used because 2 is the smallest prime factor or prime number of the prime numbers so we are going to write 2 okay then how many times can 2 go in 216 it will go 108 times okay then we are going to write 2 times 108 then we are going to write 2 then multiplied by 2 which is why we are multiplying by 2 we are we have noted that in 180 2 can go there without giving a remainder so i'm going to use 2 to divide 108 which will give us 54 so when you multiply 2 by 2 by 54 will give you 216 okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to rewrite the first two prime numbers were found which are two twos okay then i'm going to ask myself what is the smallest prime number that can go into 54 2 can go so i'm going to use 2 which i'm going to write times 2 then 2 into 54 it will go 27 times okay so when you multiply 2 by 2 by 2 by 27 it will give you 216 then we say we're going to write these three uh, twos then we say what is the smallest prime factor that can go into 27 and the smallest prime factor that can go into 27 is 3 so i'm going to say times 3 then 3 into 27 it will go 9 times so i'm going to say times 9 okay i found four prime numbers that can help us to express 216 as a product of prime numbers so i'm going to write these uh, four uh, prime factors which i've found already then <coughs> i'm going to ask myself to say what is the smallest prime number that can go into nine we are saying three so th i'm going to say times three then three into nine it will go three times then i'm going to multiply by three then as you can see now here the expression here down has only prime factors that can give us 216 so i've expressed 216 as a product of prime factors okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to regroup i'm going to group these numbers in two three identical groups so these three identical groups should give us the same product as well as they should have the same numbers okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write uh, i'm going to pick one two and one three put them in one group and again i'll get another one two and one three put them in one group so the groups will be formed of will be formed by uh, numbers which are two and three which will be multiplied two by three so we are going to say um like that the way i've put it so each group is formed by uh, two numbers which are two and three which are multiplied two by three two by three two by three okay so in each group we have got two by three the, the groups are identical and when you multiply them they will give you the same product so let's try to check if the product will be the same so two by three will give us six times two by three will give us six two by three will give us six times six so as you can see we have come up with uh, three six okay so now since we've come up with three six as products the products are the same that means uh we grouped the 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 prime factors of 2016 collectively and then what we're going to do is we are going to pick one six from the three six and then we're going to write it down we are going to get rid of the cube root sign and we're just going to write six alone okay once we have done that that means now that is the cube root of 216 so the cube root of 216 is 6 therefore we can say 6 is the cube root of 216 okay so basically this is how you find the cube root of a given number if you have got questions you can ask in the comment section otherwise thank you so much for watching it has been easy learning z
mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video and god bless you